Hello guys, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to create a virtual environment in PyCharm. And before we go on and create a virtual environment, I have to tell you that it is really critical to create a virtual environment because it could be risky to work on the Glue packages and the system default Python packages. And the reason is it could sometimes not update, sometimes cause you problems. So it's much, much better to have a virtual box or an environment which you can easily change the packages and in, uh, install or remove or whatever you want to do with it. So I'm going to be creating a new project just for this thing. And as you can see, I've already created two virtual environments and we also have our system default packages here 2.6 2.7 and this is the one i uploaded using homebrew this is 2.7.13 i believe uh 14 is out there as well so let's go ahead and create a create a virtual environment so here i'll be naming my virtual environment i'll be saying this tutorial one and i'll be packaging my base interpreter so let's select the latest version I'll also be inheriting the global side packages. I don't want to deal with that as well. And finally, this depends on whether you want to make it available for all of your projects or only exclusive to this one. I'll be making it available for everything. So uh, it's setting up uh, all the tools that's necessary, all the other packages. So once I've created it, I'll be able to see the global side packages and it will be really easy for me to install the other packages that I'd like to install. So for instance, I'm working on a project that include, uh, that requires me to install packages to install files to AWS. So I'll only install AWS related libraries and I'll just go ahead. So we can see the default dashboard here and I'll go ahead and click PyCharm here and go to my project settings. So here I can see my from my project inter, uh, interpreter. I'll see all the related packages that's coming from the global side packages. From here I can add other libraries, but basically this is the end of the tutorial because it's only about the virtual environment. Um, basically you got your virtual environment set up and you can do all the changes here and it's only available for this uh, specific project. Thank you for watching.